Hi everybody, bonjour tout le monde, this is Capital with JB Comics. I'm JB, I hope everyone is having a great Thanksgiving weekend, Black Friday weekend, Great Cup weekend. Whatever it is that you are doing, I hope you are being safe and having a great time doing it. In today's video, we will talk about which book I am betting my money on for 2019. As you recall, a couple of videos ago, I uploaded a video called Strategies for Collecting Smart in 2019. If you haven't watched this video, I am uploading the link so you can go watch it after this video. I set aside money for my top 50 list, but also for books that I am speculating on in hopes of making a profit. When we return, I will let you guys know which book I am betting my money on and why right after this quick intro. I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, so let's get started. We all know by now that Into the Spider-Verse is coming out December 21st, 2018, featuring Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy as Spider-Gwen. The first appearances of Miles Morales is Ultimate Fallout number 4, there is a cover A and also a 125 variant. The 125 variant at the 9.8 is going for around $2,000 and Spider-Gwen, her first appearance is Edge of Spider-Verse number 2, there is a cover A and there is also a 125 variant that is going for around $3,000 plus. Those books are not cheap and I don't know what the ceiling is especially for Edge of Spider-Verse number 2. People seem to just love Spider-Gwen aka Ghost Spider. There is another movie coming out in the spring called Captain Marvel and everyone is getting Avenging Spider-Man number 9 which is the first time we are introduced to Captain Marvel as she will be featured in the film. That book a couple of years ago would have been $200 at a CGC 9.8. Three months ago that book was an $800 to $900 book on the secondary market. Those prices has cooled down a bit. That book now is between five to six hundred dollars. But I am almost certain that those prices will jump back up once the second trailer of Captain Marvel is released. But I'm not here to talk about those characters. The character that I want to talk to you about is Kamala Khan. But before we jump into her, I would like to take one second and give you guys a side story. Um, back in 2011, Marvel announced that they were going to introduce uh, Miles Morales as the new Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, I was so happy to learn that I was like I was literally jumping for joy but that was short-lived because then I wanted to know what the internet thought about that and that was the wrong choice because the internet blew up and there was so much negativity so much racism like I lost all interest in the character I thought Marvel was just going to scrap it be like wow people are really uh, crazy. Then Marvel announced that they were introducing a new character, this time a Muslim female. If you thought Miles Morales got it bad, wow, it was nothing compared to what they were saying about Ms. Marvel. It was crazy once again, to, but this time at a totally new level of craziness. Uh, but the character did make her debut in Captain Marvel number 14. This is cover A. But there is also cover B. Cover B is a 130 Amanda Connor cover. I have only seen this book around like about like three times on the secondary market. I've never yet to see it live in person. This book is so rare. Like if you see it just and you can get it, just get it because that book is beautiful and it never comes on the secondary market. If this character makes a debut in the MCU, it's going to be huge. It's going to be bigger than Wonder Woman, than Captain Marvel. It's going to open doors for a new demographic of people that might not even be into comic books right now. It's going to be a giant leap forward for humanity as a whole. But we are going to talk about cover A, the one that is uh, accessible to most of us. Uh, this book, uh, try to get it raw for around uh, 100 to 150. Uh, this book at a 9.8 sells for around 450 to 500 dollars, and this book has room to grow. This book is going to be what 
um, Avenging Spider-Man 9 is now times 50. Um, again, this is just my opinion. This is just me speculating on a book. Um, I do not have no uh, insider information from Marvel. This is just me sharing what I am betting my money on for 2019. If you like speculating videos, Comics Jambloni is also doing them. He did an amazing feature rate on Miles Morales and Ultimate Fallout. Um, I will be linking his video in the description and right here. So make sure you take a look at his channel. It is Comics Jambroni. He is an amazing guy and creates amazing content. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this book has the potential to become the it book of 2019 or is it just still too soon to bet on that book yet and still sticking around with the Edge of Spider-Verse, Ultimate Fallout and Avenging Spider-Man number 9. Like always, please like, comment, share this video, subscribe if you haven't done so. This is Capital JB Comics and have fun collecting. I'll see you guys soon.